Hi. Now in this tutorial what I want to do is just continue to extend what we've been doing on combinations. I've got a couple of examples here. The second one is a lot harder than this particular one though. So in this first one we've got how many ways can a committee be formed consisting of three men and two women selected from seven men and ten women. Now whenever I do a problem like this I always like to put some dashes down just for me to be able to visualize what's going on. And we've got a committee of five people. Three men, let's just say we have the first man, second man, third man. And we've got two women, woman one, woman two. So we're interested in having a committee it's a selection. Order doesn't matter. So when it comes to finding the number of selections that we can have, the number of committees, then we need to break this kind of problem down into two parts. We need to think about how many ways we can select the men and then how many ways we can select the women. So for the men, we've got from seven men we've got to essentially take three men. Okay, So how many ways could we fill one place on the committee from the seven? Well, seven ways. And then for the next man, there'll be six ways. And for the next man, there'll be five ways. But any time we take any of these three men, they can be rearranged amongst themselves three factorial ways. So we need to divide by three by two by one because if we didn't do that we'd be just looking at the number of permutations, arrangements. Now we've got in the same problem the number of women so we need to times. And for the number of women we've got ten women and we need to select just two of them. So in order to fill the first place there will be 10 ways of filling that with a woman and then for the second place there will be 9. But again if we have any two women they can be rearranged amongst themselves two factorial ways, 2 by 1. So we now have the answer to our problem. But you could have done this particular one by using the combinations formula because we haven't got any repetition or any other restrictions so therefore you could have said well okay I've got seven men and I want to choose three of them so we have seven C three and then we need to times by the number of ways we can select the women so from ten choose two so ten choose two. Now I know this might appear quick and why didn't I do this in the first place but it is very important I believe that you do understand the mechanics of what is going on. Okay well let's see what we've got here then. Well 7C3 turns out to be 35 and 10C2 is 45 so multiply those two together and you end up with 1575 different committees that you could form. Okay well what I want to show you next is another example. This one is just a little bit more involved and I would strongly recommend that you do look at it. So here it is. We've got five letters that are to be selected from the letters in the word advantage. How many different combinations are there? Well to do a problem like this again what I'd like to do is set up my five places to fill. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. And I'd put down the list of letters that we've got. Now in this particular one what makes this question harder is that we have got three A's. A letter being repeated. That leaves us with the other letters, the D, the V, N, T, G and E. In other words, what we've got here is six different 
values. Now when it comes to working out then the number of different selections we've got to be very careful because of this problem of having a letter repeated. We're going to have selections or combinations where we get no A's at all in this selection here. There'll be times when there's just one A, two A's and three A's. So what we need to do is look at each of these individual cases separately. So let's start off with the number of selections where we haven't got uh, any A's. Okay, So we'll put no A's, zero A's. So that means that we fill these five spaces then with these six letters or five of these six letters. So how many ways can that be done? Well, there will be six ways of filling the first space, then five for the next one, four, three and two. But this would be the number of permutations of five of these letters. We're not interested in that because we know that in any one of these the letters could rearrange themselves amongst themselves five factorial ways. So we'd have to divide by the five factorial or five by four by three by two by one. And what that comes to would be exactly the same results that you could have done if you had just done from six items choose five, six C five. OK, I didn't particularly do this method first of all. I just want to show you the mechanics again though of how you can work these out if you haven't got these formulas available. Well, if you work that out anyway, what you get is 6. We've now got to look at how many of these selections contain an A. Let's just put one of those A's in there. And so we'll have number of selections with just the one A. And what's it going to equal? Well the A's in but that leaves us with four spaces to fill from these six letters here. So that means that we've got six for the first one, five for the next, four for the next one and then three. But again any of these arrangements here have the fact that the letters can rearrange themselves amongst themselves four factorial ways, four by three by two by one. So we need to divide that out. Or you could have worked it out as from six choose four. Whatever way you do, six choose four comes out at 15. And now we need to consider the number of selections with two A's in. So if we put an A in, we're left with three spaces to fill and we've got six letters to try and fill them with. So there'll be six, then five, then four ways of placing those. But that's the number of arrangements. We're not interested in arrangements, so we divide by three factorial. Number of ways those letters can rearrange amongst themselves. Or you could have done 6C3. Again, work that out, you get 20. Finally, we could have three A's in there. And if we've got three A's in there, we're left with just two spaces to fill. So I'm sure you've guessed what it's going to be. It'll be six by five, all divided by two factorial, two by one, or six C two. And that will come to a total of 15. Now we're interested in the total number of selections. So what we've got to do is simply add up these values 6, 15, 20 and 15. Therefore the total number of selections equals 6 plus 15 plus 20 plus 15. And what that comes to is 56. Well, I hope that's given you a few more ways that you can apply combinations to particular problems. Well, that brings us now then to the end of this tutorial.